Okay, guys, I'm back here with some more sky kills. And as you can see, by looking at the day count, I've played a few days, and I kind of got a little carried away with playing, and got a few things done that I meant to do on camera. So, first starters, um, put on my platform, which I'll explain how I went in and got started with Tinkers, and got it set up so that way I can make uh, my bone hatchet and bone sword so that way I can keep a uh, really good and sorry about the this but it is April 1st and I'm victim of Minecraft trolling but anyways I'm going to uh, I made a couple of barrels here and I'm going to show you how to make the barrels, and I'm going to show you some stuff about the barrels in this episode. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just, this right here is a drying rack, which is very simple to make. I'll show you the recipe for that as well, which is handy because you can turn rotten flesh into food. And as you can tell, I've been busy. I've got plenty of wood and plenty of rotten flesh turned into food called monster jerky. But anyways, let me just get... show you just like that and boom you get your drying rack I'm not gonna make it because I don't need one I've already got plenty of them set up over here which they should be ready these, these can also be used in place of item frames which are really kind of handy but yeah, I, I'm rolling on some food now. I've got that good. And I've gotten a couple of uh, spoils bags, as you can tell from all the listening and goods from that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get uh, our silkworms going. Place one there. Place one there. While they're doing their thing, let's go out and check the mob farm, kill some shit. Good stuff. And see, that's what I'm talking about. I keep getting bones, so I'm always going to have plenty. This is the force, because that's how I got my bucket, because I had a force bucket. You know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, so yeah, this is a pretty simple design. I've got a couple of blocks right here. Break this. I'll just put two blocks right here, so that way I can see eye level with them. This is two blocks high, but the second block is just a, a half slab on the top half of the block. <clears throat> I have half slabs on top here, so that way nothing can spawn above it. Only thing that can spawn on is right here. And see, there's half slabs on top right here to keep the mobs from seeing me or coming out, but I can still see them and hit them. And then I've also put a Crafty men here just for just in case kind of purposes and uh, I put these half slabs here on the bottom half so that way nothing can spawn on top of those either but they also serve so that way in, when I kill the endermen tots when they, then they spawn one to two more endermen and if they don't spawn inside because if they spawn inside for some reason their feet glitch through the block and it doesn't hurt them so I have to kill them manually but if they glitch out, if they spawn outside of this radius, they'll hit their heads on this and it'll actually hurt them and they will constantly take damage. So it's a good way to keep them from attacking me and taking damage if they spawn outside of here. And since they won't go much further than this right here, I figure this is good enough. So that's the moth spawner. So you can see decapitation has been working. 
And for Tinkers, I've, I've been using Bone because I looked at the materials I had available to me now. And Bone has a durability of 200. It's actually better than Cobble. So, and if you look here, I've got eight bones. And that's for my, and then I have like a bunch of bones here. And it only takes one bone to repair it from like halfway, like all the way down to nothingness, almost. And there's only one bone to repair. So I was like, good deal. I've also got some nether quartz in one of the uh, bags, and I used it for to increase the sharpness of my sword. So it does now just three hearts of damage. So that's all good. Uh, put those in there. I'm gonna put these back up. I'm not gonna need them for a while. But I'm able to move my water over there. It's unrained a bunch more, so I got more water. I'm telling you guys, if you can, it's it's awesome to get spawned in a forest because the forest biome just gives you so much rain. I even put like an extra bucket over here. That's gonna be my elevator for the time being. For me to uh, kind of go down and build the second layer that we're going to eventually, and eventually these will be replaced by three by three plots and activators, and we turned into crop, you know, stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to build one of these now. It's pretty simple. First, you just need a chest. Then you take your logs around like this, put a half slab on top, boom a barrel. Now, these have been nerfed greatly. I warn you now, these have been nerfed. I wasn't aware of the nerf because I've been watching the Bacon Donut live stream and some other people live stream. So I saw the earlier on addition of these and these have been nerfed. As you can see, they only hold 64 stacks max. Now, you can do upgrades. Here, let me show you them real quick. I've already been looking up. Okay. You have these structural upgrades that allow for slots for upgrades. Uh, the second one takes iron and some fences, which, of course, I don't have iron yet, so I haven't done it. And I don't really need it right now. But the first one, all you need is, you know, wood and fences, which is all good and dandy. And, uh, that gives you the upgrade that I have on these right here, which is why they're darker in color. The color around the outside edge does change with the upgrade. With the structural up upgrade. Now, to actually get the, the, you know, the actual upgrade, Oh, what's the difference? A sticker. Okay, a storage upgrade that increases it by, by 64 stacks is what I need. I need another barrel and two pistons. So I need some redstone before I can do anything. So yeah, I, I, I definitely need to do some more work because that's why I just now made this barrel because you know, I'm going to have a couple of polish but I'm going to go ahead and bust this open. Don't need it. I'm going to break this. And it's lost to have side, but it's all good. So I actually want to use this to upgrade my barrels eventually. So, you're going to need a lot more wood in this, and iron is going to have more of a use. Or four ingots, because I can make the four ingots now that I need to do the pistons, I just don't have the redstone for it, which is the problem. Which is why I need these, so I can start shifting, and holy crap, it's spreading really good. Really fast, so I may not have to do a cut for that. But yes, we're going to make the sieve, and as you can see, I've been busy making dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. Because I managed to get four iron from the uh, loot bags before, and I used those to make a couple things of shears. Don't you blow up. Give me them bones. Yeah, see, this one's a spawn inside, so... 
I still had to attack it, but it's all good. It's not a big deal. This sword is actually pretty, pretty darn strong. As it is. So, I think we're good now. Well, not quite. Let me get let me spread some more. No sense of being in a rush. Okay, let's just go ahead and put these back in here. Arrow, gunpowder. My bones over here so I can keep repairing. You see what I'm saying? This is a really great food supply. I could use this to dirt, but I don't really need to. I've got plenty of dirt right now, so this is great food supply. I see, watch. Oh, there they go. So if I ever run out of apples, I have this as a backup food supply right now. Which right now I've got, you know, four more apples, so I'm good for the time being. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and get started on this. Oh, that string. So I got a lot of string from that right there just now. We are 100% good on strings for a while. So I'm just going to put these in the chest. Grab these saplings back out so I save those saplings. Dang, we got enough silkworms too. And let's chop down all these trees. Yeah, we got a nice little tree farm going here. And we're getting plenty of wood from them. Cause I, want, I mean, it's just really great, like, the number amount of wood I'm getting. So, let's go ahead and get work to work on Steve. So, this is the thing I like about these, uh, workbenches, uh, like the new modified ones. They actually connect to the adjacent inventories, which makes it so awesome. So let's just do this number. One, two. Let's do that for now. Let's make three pieces of wool for now. Do this number. This number. We have our bed. And then. Sticks, these two, and then the wood. Now, you might be wondering why I'm making this and why this is so important. This basically is everything in the game. All right, let's get the stack of dirt and get busy seeping. All you gotta do is hold down, right click, and it'll go away. And it'll just hop to it. Now this is why autonomous activators are so important in this pack. Because you can make this pot all completely... All you need is a vacuum hopper, a chest for those items to go in, and an autonomous activator. And you can automate this process with just one autonomous activator. Of course, if you have like one on each side, one below it, and then you have, you know, the uh, vacuum hopper above it, you're going to make it go super faster, because the more people right-clicking on this at the same time, the faster it sieves the uh, dirt, or gravel, or sand, or dust. And you sieve each thing to get different things. Like, 
Like, see me right now. I'm just trying to get enough stuff to make cobblestone, so that way I can make me a nice little cobblestone generator area and get it set up with uh, making some lava. I'm gonna see this whole stack of dirt. That's my goal. Let's see what I'm talking about. There's always stuff to do. Once you get going, there's a ton of stuff to do in here. But it, it, it's it's really fun. I love doing skyblock because for starters, even though it's not on peaceful, it is on peaceful because you don't have any mobs unless you want the mobs mobs there. Because you actually have to. I mean, you can actually control your environment really well with lighting and half laps. I also enjoy it because it, with it being modded, you can really take your time, you know, with the mods and getting to know it. It's like, I spent, uh, you know, I'm on day 18. I spent a good, you know, 10 days just sitting, you know, 10 days or so just sitting here collecting materials. So, I took my time. And we should have a pretty good outtake from all this. Because I don't think I've, I... I, did, I played around with this pack before. Like, I was testing my own stuff out, getting used to that. So when I would do this, let's play, I wouldn't be complete nubcake and not know how to get started. And once you get your cobblestone here to go on, the game gets a lot easier. And you can move, move up to the Stone Age. But until that point, it's kind of slow going, but it's fun. It's really fun. And we have one more piece after this piece. And that's it. Now let's see what how what all we got out of this. We have... Wow, spruce seeds. Nice. Those will count as spruce trees. You just plant them, and it'll, it'll automatically default into a sapling. Birch seeds. Nice, we can have birch wood now. Then we got a couple of normal seeds, some pumpkin seeds, some melon seeds. An acorn, just careful to note, actually turns into an oak tree when you plant it. Then I have potato seeds. Oh yeah, sugar cane seeds. Just what I needed. Well, I thought I needed because I was looking at the thing or whatever, but sugar cane could be all coming. So, now these. This is called stone. This is the tricky part. Oh. See what I'm talking about? Trees grow while you're doing other stuff. I have monsters I can fight. Speaking of which, let's... For right now, let's put all the seeds in here just to keep them safe. And also I got grass seeds. Grass seeds are very important. Grass seeds is how you get grass now. So let's go on out of here and kill these monsters real quick. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. This is why I'm not hurt for anything. Alright, let's turn this stuff back. I need to set my bed up somewhere. I'll do that later. Bed back up in there and put that. That and a couple bows. And we'll put the bone meal bones back over here as well. See, I'm starting to get a good study of collection of bones. And here, to show you what I'm talking about, watch. Boom. See, it's, our, it's our over halfway a week. One bone. It's your pair. And I've gotten several bones with it between the two points. So. I 
I'll get that jerky later. I'll probably get it right now. So, now I'll show you how to make stone. Boom. Just like so. And just like that, I got 59 cobblestone. So that's a pretty good ratio. From a stack of 64 dirt, you get 59 cobble. It's it's almost a one to one ratio, so it, it's pretty good. And I'm not relishing doing that, so because I can always grind this up if I need to, or use it for something else. I'm not gonna worry about sifting these right away. Instead, I want to go ahead and get a good, safe cobble generating area made. I think I'm going to do that right off of here. There's one, two, okay, yeah, three. Just trying to make sure it's all even. I need a bucket of water just so I can get underneath. Hmm, eh, we'll wait and see. Okay. I'm gonna have the middle part right here be where the cobblestone gets pulled at. Then I need to have that go right there followed by that make some cobblestone ones for out here. Otherwise I'll just burn up. Alright. Let's buck it back before I lose it. And I'm gonna have just to make it symmetrical.
up here very carefully. some more of these noise. Holy crap, all the trees. Slab, so I'm good. And I need to make me now that I'm working with cobblestone. I definitely need to make me a pickaxe. So I'm gonna go over to Kent's Tinkers real fast. And we go over here, get a pattern. Pixax pattern. Hmm. Sorry about that. A little bit of burp action. Bone pickaxe. I also need a, uh, one of those. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. Tool binding. And, let me see. Now I'm ready to build it. And there's our pickaxe. Go back to the repair thing. You'll see this as this is a white pickaxe, so until I get the lava done, we're gonna be using that, okay. Now I need to look up hammers. Now I would like to use the the you know Tinker's construct hammers, but I can't yet. Hmm, I think I'll just make a stone hammer to help myself out better. Make one of them, you do two sticks this way. Two pieces of cobble, bam, hammer. Now, probably thinking, what's the hammer for? This. I'm gonna need uh, probably at least two things. So I'm gonna just do three on the safe side. See, it turned out in the gravel. Now, I could see this, but I need this something else. Do it again with the hammer. Turns into sand. And then we do it again. Turn to dust. All three of those, you know, gravel, 
sand and dust are receivable and each gives you different things. I need dust right now to get redstone because dust, dust comes from dust gives us uh, redstone. But for right now I need this. Clay. By putting dust in water but inside these barrels you get clay. Then I need steel. Piece that I have 12. These should be enough. Give me some bone meal. And this. If I'm gonna get porcelain clay. Then I put this back in here. Let's go ahead and combine those. Eventually you might get a decent uh, working bow out of it. Go in here. Craft it just like so. We get an unfired crucible. Now I'm gonna do this again. Do this number. Do this number. To give me a half slab furnace. And I don't know where I want to place this. I guess right here is fine. And I need to fire this up. Someone's going to use one of my fences. That is done. Come over here to this. Put that on top of there. Which I'm going to move that. Actually. Because I can now take these. torches going on here and get that going. It's good enough I can go and start making. Can't make before and that's all I need for right now. So I wanna put this she wanna put this over here so I'm gonna I'm such a genius. I 
being careful. Oh, I almost fell off. There's some half slabs around here. Do that, damn it. Let me see if I can just place a block on the bottom of that. A half slab. There we go. There you go, that'll power that. Look up. Item transfer node. We need some of these transfer pipe. Okay, I need glass and I need some of that. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some mining by hand for sure. right now. Let's go ahead and take all this Stop lagging. There we go. Oh so many guys I'm lagging. There we go. Stop it. I don't know why it's lagging. There we go. Wow, we almost got like every tree grown. Same time. It's a lot of wood and a lot of saplings. I'm actually waiting to get these down though because I can get a lot more dirt if I wait till I get shears. Now we gotta see this. Hope we get some redstone. Yeah, something. I don't think it's redstone, though. I saw some redstone, but we're gonna need more than one piece. No, nope, all we got is one piece. We got a bunch. So, put the porcelain clay in here. Put the right in there. You don't have enough of the dust. Actually, let me go make another chest for all the dust and stuff because that's a bit of a hassle to try to deal with. my 
of dust in there. Bomb mill. Yeah, put some of that in there. Alright. Now I need... Two things of glass, and I need more sand. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some mining. So, let me first show you guys how to get the lava. Because that crucible right there is gonna give us the lava. Not yet, though. I wonder if there's any other kind of fences. Oh, God, yes. Hmm. There's a lot that you could do. There's a lot of different style offenses. Way too many of them. Let's leave all this for now, man. Any lava yet? Let's go kill some monsters while I wait. Da, 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 da. I like that I get so many bones though. <laughs> See, it barely took any damage from it. I did that wrong. pieces there's still a lot of dirt wonder if we got enough in there now yep there's our lava these two 
just like that. We're finally in the Stone Age. so close to actually automating the crap out of that. And you have to shift and put it on there in order to do it to change. That's far enough away from the lava, it should be alright. So. a message to all this madness and you'll see in just a minute. Everything will make good, good sense when you finally come to it. Do the lawnmower step. 
up make this into this. And hopefully this will want what we need because I need more stone. For if this doesn't work. A lot of dust here. Just to see all this. Which come to think of me, I'm gonna usually get more stone anyway, because I don't cook up the stone. And we've got a couple more, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this whole stack of dust. I'm hoping I get some glowstone dust from this too, because you can also get glowstone dust. Some glass to nine safety doctor. And look at uh you can quartz. And there's a lot of stuff you can get from it. That's them. Put you in there. I put one more in there. Gotta do eight more pieces of cobble. Or I didn't leave any cobble in here, did I? No. Go and drop all this dust though, it's in the way. Put gunpowder back in the other chest. Get us eight more pieces of uh cobble. zombie flesh. Right now we're on a mission. Alright, now what do I need for this?
first I need to make a chest. Chest, two stone, two dust. I had just enough dust to do it all with. Wow. And then one of these. And just like that, we have cobble. Okay, I get it now. Because those don't stack, it 64 of those count as they stack. So I didn't actually need to do these upgrades yet. When I do the upgrade again, it'll add 64 more to this. Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, in that case... Yeah, just... And ta-da! We have cobble, auto-cobble generation. Just like that. It's that damned easy. I think next time I'm going to build a dirt plot out this direction with some, and turn it in the, all in the grass so that way we can uh, get some sheep and that stuff going. And let me check my time here real quick guys. Okay guys, I kind of derped out and uh, kind of fucked up and accidentally didn't record me finishing off the episode. I came back, saw that it was over an hour long and wrapped things up. However, I didn't, I forgot to press record, so I didn't record it. And I started recording another episode and it and that kind of derped, but anyways. I just want to go ahead and wrap this up of this episode here. That's gonna do it, and uh, I'll show you guys what I've been working on on the following episode. Sorry for the derp, just sorry for the random cut after what I was doing, but it, it, it is what it is. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Crown out.